I'm not buying a car or a truck, but I am gonna make my girlfriend cry. So y'all should stick around for this one. It was painted red, the stripe was white, it was 18 feet from about the stern line. Second hand from a dealer in Atlanta, I rode up with daddy when he went there to get her. Put on a shine, put on a motor, built out of love and made for the water. Ran her for years till her transom got rotten. A piece of my childhood will never be forgotten. It was just an old plywood boat. It was 75 Johnson with electric choke. A young boy, two hands on the wheel. I can't replace the way it made me feel. And I would turn her sharp eye, make it whine. He'd say, can't beat the way an old boat rides. Just a little lake across the Alabama line But I was king of the ocean When daddy let me drive Alright guys, I gotta run to the hardware store because I know that the wheel, the drum on the one side is full of wasps. So I'm gonna pick up some wasp spray real fast and then we'll be headed to meet up with Russell. Russell's gonna pull the trailer for us in case we get in a hairy situation because he's got four wheel drive and yeah i'm excited to do this this is fun i can't replace the way it made me feel and he'd say turn it left and steer it right straighten up girl now you're doing just fine just a little valley by the river where we ride but i was high on a mountain when daddy let me Her uncle's in on it too, and her brother, because they came by and opened the gate for her. That damn your wasp killer now. I forgot the wasp spray after going about it, but now I got some diesel, and we're gonna try to throw that at them and see if that gets rid of them. I'm gonna see if I can find a cap for this. Just get them all riled up. I just saw one go in there already, so they're out and about. Test. Good. This shit puts them down pretty good, huh? Yeah. I hate wash so badly. Oh, y'all didn't even know what we were coming to get. I hadn't even told him it was a trailer yet. There's one right there. Got him. Come on, keep on coming. See him? There's three down so far. I feel like I need to step on them. Do I need to step on them? They're gonna die, aren't they? Dude, there's so many. They're all coming out now. Oh yeah, all good. Don't let them suckers come out on you though. Thank you. 
All right, so we got a chain going from the back of here to the tongue of that. And that should twist this sucker around. And it's just gonna follow us. Both of the wheels are turning, yes. Okay, whoa, whoa. Gonna be talking about us in a couple years, 50 years, Russell. They're gonna be calling it the Wash Battle of 2023. <laughs> they're gonna say them boys got out completely unscathed. All right, guys, we got it all strapped down onto the trailer. It ain't going nowhere. This is gonna be cool. I'll tell you about this in just a minute. Just trying to get a free ride up. It's a big hill. I couldn't climb it in my truck once we got stuck. Russell's such a good friend, always helping me out, man. This is... This is a pain. So, thank you, Russell. Appreciate you.
real tattoo Tried to cut in, I knocked out his front tooth We ran outside, hood sliding like Bo Duke What was I thinking? I finally got her home at a half past two Later, daddy's in a lawn chair sitting on the driveway Put it in park as he started my way What was I thinking? Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, what was I thinking? Gave a come and get me in And like a bullet we were gone again Cause I was thinking about a little white tank top Sitting right there in the middle by me I was thinking about a long kiss man Just gotta get going where the night might be I know what I was feeling Yeah, I know what I was feeling What was I thinking? Alright guys, so here's the story Lindsay's dad used to own a canoe company down on the river where he would take people and drop them off with a canoe and then he would drive down there and then load them up and bring them back. That's what his job was. And this is the old trainer that he used. So one day we were hiking down at Lindsay's property and she said, hey, there's my dad's canoe trailer. And I just kind of blew it off because I knew that I wanted to do this. So. Uh, Russell helped me today. We went and got the trailer uh, There's a truck show coming up in about five weeks So I can only work on it the days that she's gonna be at work, which is usually only one day a week. So uh, I mean the days that I'm off and she's at work Anyways, so we got about probably four or five days to work on this. Hopefully uh, we can knock it out I'd like to wire it up and I would like to put some new tires and rims on it. I just want to make sure the bearings and everything are good. And yeah, we the neck is bent on the front of it, so we're gonna have to put a new neck on it and stuff like that, so. Run your car off the side of the road, get stuck in a ditch way out in the middle of nowhere. Get yourself in a bind, lose your shirt off your back Need a floor, need a couch, need a bus fast oh, This is where the rubber meets the road This is where the cream is gonna rise This is what you really didn't know This is where the truth don't lie You'll find out who your friends are Somebody's gonna drop everything Run out and crank up their car Hit the gas, get there fast Never stop to think what's in it for me Or it's way too far They just show on up With their big old heart You find out who your friends are Everybody wants to slap your back, wants to shake your hand when you're up on top of that mountain. But let one of those rocks give way, then you slide back down, look up and see who's around then. Right, this ain't where the road comes to an end. This ain't where the bandwagon stops. This is just one of those times when a lot of folks jump off. You find out who your friends are. Somebody's gonna drop everything. Run out and crank up their car. Hit the gas, get that fast. Never stop to think what's in it for me. Or it's way too far. They just show on up with their big old heart. You find out. All right, guys, we are back at the trailer. Had to give my wheel up. But we're going to make some progress today. You can see how crooked this neck is. So this is getting cut off. We're going to put a safe hitch on there that will stay on. Uh, build us a new handle probably. So today I'm going to be working on cutting off those welds and Russell's on his way to get a long hose because we're a long way from the water. We got a pressure washer to spray it. 
I've decided we're not gonna paint it. We're just gonna pressure wash it, leave it like this, put a new neck on it, uh, clean up the bearings, repack all the bearings, put the wheels back on. Then we're gonna get some brand new rims and tires for it. And then we're gonna rewire it. It's missing a light here. We got a light there. And we're gonna put all new string on it. All right, guys, Russell ran to get a hose so we could get this thing power washed. I'm gonna start cutting some of these uh, some of these welds so we can pull this main pipe. I think the first thing I should do is, we got the back blocked up already, I should find a way to put lift the front up so that the pressure is not on there as I'm cutting the welds. I don't really know what I was thinking with the jack because I forgot this thing is so light I could just pick it up. Okay. All right guys, I have just decided I want to keep this original handle because that's the handle that her dad used all the time to pull this boat around. So we're gonna go ahead and reuse it on the new neck. This thing's just kind of rinky and I don't want it to be a safety problem. So we're gonna replace that. But first thing I'm gonna do is cut off this, uh, this handle so we can reuse it.
All right, guys, we're back over here with the trailer today, and we got some goodies. Lindsay actually took me shopping for her own trailer parts yesterday and I had no idea. I even called Russell and did like a play along. Hey, man, you still need those tires and hitch for your trailer? Yeah, man, pick them up. So we got them. We got us a nice hitch to go on there. It ain't gonna stay until I weld it. Then we got Two brand new trailer tires. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I don't want to go. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I just as soon stay home. Alright guys, this side still had shoes in it, the other side didn't. I slid this on and it, it really did not want to go on, so Russell said he'll pull the shoes out of here for me. But let's go get the other side buckled up so that we can put a tire on and spin it. Mr. Roosevelt, they're gonna save us all. The only thing we 
have to fear is well, mama got sick and daddy got down the county got the farm and they moved to town papa got a job with a tva he bought a washing machine and then a chevrolet sing it song song of the south sweet potato pie and i shut my mouth Alright guys, got the wheels on it, need to clean the stickers up, need two lug nuts for that side, and a dust cap. This side's all kinds of buttoned up, now we can move it around if we need to hide it. And uh, next step is getting our new neck welded on. And then, the only thing we have left is shocks and wires which don't necessarily have to be done before the show. And we gotta get our handle put back on.
All right, guys, we're gonna go grab some canoes, throw them on the trailer. They're in the backyard, and I'm afraid if I don't do it right now, I'm not gonna get another chance, so let's pull the trailer for the first time, see how she does. Guys, my battery died and I don't know what y'all got to see and what you didn't, but I got the canoes on the trailer and we're gonna tie the paddle in here, but the string was too long for now, so I just threw it in the truck. All right, guys, we made it back with the canoes. I didn't have time to get the kayak. I started getting nervous. It's kind of buried under a bunch of stuff, so I bailed out. Lindsay almost caught us. She was leaving work like the same time I was coming down the highway, but we got her here. I'm gonna chalk these tires. I couldn't back it up as far because I didn't want to bury that in the door. But let's chalk these tires up. All right, guys, I don't love the strings. We're gonna try to get some more strings, some different ones. Those are literally stretchy. And when it was bouncing, it was letting them flex a lot. They made it here and did their job, but we'll get something else a little better. All right, guys, I don't know if we'll get another day to work on it or not, but if we do, I'll bring y'all along. All right, guys, tomorrow is the big day. And a buddy of mine is going to let me borrow a canoe so that I can uh, add to the trailer a little bit. And I finally dug the kayak out of the shop. This looks lonely with two on there, so we're gonna put two more. We're gonna put a canoe and a kayak on there. I'm on my way to go get them. We're kind of sneaking around again, so we gotta hurry. All right, guys, I don't know how I've been able to get away with this for weeks and weeks, but we need like one more hour and then we're free and clear. I got the kayak out of the shed this morning, so let's get it loaded up. I'm trying to hide y'all from the wind is what I'm trying to do. This canoe is significantly heavier than this canoe, so I'm gonna put the kayak on this side and I'll put the other canoe on that side. Rolling down a backwoods, Tennessee byway. One arm on the wheel. Holding my lover with the other A sweet, soft, southern thrill Worked hard all week, got a little jingle On a Tennessee Saturday night Couldn't feel better, I'm together With my Dixieland delight Spend my dollar, park in a holler, needs a mountain moonlight. Hold her up tight, make a little loving, a little turn of dubbing on a Mason Dixon night. It's my life. 
All right, guys, I got the trailer to Russell's without getting caught. I don't have to pull it anymore. Russell's gonna bring it tomorrow during the truck show. But I just wanna take a second and say thank you to Russell for always helping me out. Uh, a lot of these projects, a lot of my videos, Russell helps with, you know, and um, I usually say thank you, but I can't say thank you enough because uh, this is a really cool thing. And honestly, as little as we did to it, we got a lot of hours in it. And I could only work on certain days, so he was having to move his schedule around to help me out and stuff like that, so. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to Russell, like always. And then also, Lindsey's brother was a big part of this. He helped me, um, he split the, split the cost with me. And he also came up with the rope, so. You remember we did this paracord rope? Well, it's really stretchy and I don't like it. So he brought some better rope. And, yeah. And then obviously my buddy Jesse came through just now with the uh, other canoe, which I think evens this thing out a lot better. It just didn't look right having all those poles and uh, and just two little canoes on it. So we got the kayak, we got three canoes. We could put two more on there if we had them. He had another kayak, but uh, I think it looks great like it is, so. All right guys, so the next step is in the morning, we're just gonna start the video off like a normal car show. You guys are not gonna know what's going on. She's gonna have no idea. And then uh, I'm gonna distract her at the show and Russell's gonna sneak up, hook up the trailer to the back of her truck and then we get to watch the tears fall. <laughs> White tail buck deer, munching on clover. Red tail hawk, sitting on a limb. Chubby old groundhog, croaking bullfrog. All right, guys, we made it to the show. We're getting everything cleaned up. Russell had my camera this morning, so I couldn't get any video, but Volkswagen made it. Lindsay's getting her trip wiped down and ready. Starting to fill up. All right, Lindsay's truck's looking all good. She got her washed up last night. She's just wiping down the interior. That's a picture of her and her dad with the truck. I'm sure y'all have seen it, but just in case you haven't. There she is, a little girl. I'm trying so hard to distract her, but there's nowhere to go. We're freezing. <laughs> we made it to the show, though. A bunch of freaking cars here. We're at the registration. We got to get all the paperwork done. We forgot to bring our cash, so we gotta run to the store, <laughs> run to the bank, but. Uh, we know the people. Yeah, it's okay, they, they know us. <laughs> but we'll get them paid before. Either way, we gotta get us a paper filled out for the uh, for our vehicles. So that's what we're doing now. We didn't even pay. <laughs> like, we'll pay you later. You want to put outstanding features like you drove at 8100 miles? No, no, just throw it on there. I just want it to be on there. She said uh, they put the outstanding features. I said, I'm going to need a couple more lines. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
that's your national sticker? Yeah. That's cool. I wish I had a piece of tape, but Your brother already knows. There's a story that my daddy tells religiously. Like clockwork every time he sees an opening in a conversation. About the way things used to be. I just roll my eyes and make a beeline for the door But I'd always end up starry-eyed, cross-legged on the floor Hanging on to every word Man, the things I heard It was harder times and longer days Five miles of school uphill both ways We were cane switch raised a dirt floor poor Of course, that was back before the war yeah, your uncle and I made quite a pair Flying F-15s through hostile air He went down, but they missed me by hair He'd always stop right there and say That's something to be proud of That's a life you can hang your hat on That's your chin held high as a tear falls down A gut sucked in, a chest stuck out Like a small town flag a-flying Or a newborn baby crying Tell you right now. That's something to be proud of. 